All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got Remy over here, got Aubrey in the back snoozing. Episode 67, man, it's been a journey, but we're here. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing, and doing all that good shit, man. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you want to support, or if not, just hitting the like button fucking helps out. So, yeah, man, we're Facts. back with another one. Uh, finally, bro, we're both. We're both sounding right. I'm pretty sure you guys noticed in the last few fucking podcasts that my mic was fucking ass cheeks. Yeah, that shit was fucking trash. Yeah, it was bad, bro. And, you know, it was disrespectful to you. You know what I'm saying? You you edit and it's... You, ain't nobody trying to hear it's that shit for fucking three hours yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. edit. It's disrespectful to, to to you guys, too, you know? Facts. For the be, For the listeners that listen every single time, you know what I'm saying? So... Finally got that shit out the way, so we're looking good, we sounding good, feeling good, you we're back great. with another one, man, straight yeah, up. Yeah, I'm fucking happy, I'm excited to be here, fucking, yeah, man, we got everything set for the fucking house, this is just like a little, per- you know, it's not really like a permanent, you know what I'm saying, studio yet, because we're in the living room right now, but Facts. I don't know, We I don't know what we're going to do, we, we might move it into the other room. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we might, who knows, man, only, listen, man, we're taking it day by day. You know, the important thing is that, you know, we were blessed enough to be able to get our spot. We're in the new spot, you know, and um, that's that's <laughs> blessings on blessings, bro, because it, it's been a long time coming. The people I know us personally, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it had been six years since the last time I lived, you know, had my own spot like this. So, fucking thank God, man, we're, we're back in this, you know, in this position. Facts, facts. But, um, but yeah, man, how you feeling today, bro? How you fucking feeling? I'm fucking chilling, man. Fucking, I'm. I had a good day. Uh, this week, been, it just went by fucking quick. I don't know, Yo, man. Yeah, yeah. Time's been flying, man. The older you get, you know, that's a normal part of life. When time, you know, when you get older. But you know, something that I noticed, man. Something I noticed recently, and my boy pointed it out to me, and um, I fucking agreed. He's like, "Yo, What's bro, that? if you ever notice," he's like, "You ever notice?" Uh, all bald guys with tats live in Florida. I was nah. like, yo, get the, <laughs> no, get fuck, the fuck out of here. here. Yo, nah, nah, facts. nah. It's nah. Fucking facts. You know what? It's true, though. Go I ain't gonna beach. fucking lie. Go to the fucking beach <laughs> and see what you see. You tell me what you see. Yo. Fucking bald guys, pit bull as far as the eye can see. Mr. 305s with a, everywhere. What a fucking sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I swear to God, bro. It's always, there's always a motherfucker. Like, when I go to the gym, too, I notice. Nah, you know, when exactly. we go to the gym, we always see a bald guy with some tattoos. I'm like, man, bro. It's, if, oh, they're around, bro. They're, they're all around, all, bro. All who Florida, started bro. it? Who started the nah, trend? Who started the trend? Facts. It was one of your pieces nah, of shit. Nah, for real. It was one of your... It was a... I mean, I feel bad for the people that can't grow a beard, so it was like, fuck, oh, bro. Man. So if you bald and if no beard... That's a double whammy, bro. That's That's, that's a double whammy, bro. I... I yeah. It's got to be that, one or the other, bro. You need that I, need, I either kit. need the top or the bottom. Nah, for real, bro. <laughs> no, the yeah. top or the bottom, man. Like, fuck. It's Straight either up. or, bro. They know in between, bro. Nah, they know nah. in between, man. That's crazy. Yeah, nah, for real, man. But, nah, it's just Florida. Florida's a different fucking, you know, it's a different place, man. It's yeah. a different place. Like, you still, you, like, it. you could drive down the street, bro, and hear 90s music still fucking playing, you know, like. 90s babies music still fucking playing in places, bro. Like, it's just a different vibe in Florida. You got old, young, all in between fucking... Yeah, it's... it's. <laughs> there's a lot of different fucking types of fucking music that's being played down here for sure. Um, but yeah, the 90s music, bro. Like, you, you remember the little... The, the, the bop, the, the kids bop? Fucking, yeah, yeah. Kids you, so, bop, so you're bro. telling me you're telling me you could do that shit now? I don't think you can. They, nah, there's too many curse words, <laughs> bitch. They're gonna be like, <laughs> yo, and I'm rocking down the beat. You know, just, and it's, it's like they can't reverse I wanna, it. I want to hear kids bop for WAP. <laughs> yo, there's a <laughs> there's a fucking meme about it, bro. They're like trying to create kids bop for WAP, and he's like oh smoking a cigarette, my. stressed. He's like. <laughs> That's nah, funny bro, as fuck. That's fucking ass, bro. Listen, guys, don't let your kids grow up too quick, man. You know it's cool. We're adults. We listen to what we listen to, but facts. Let kids be kids to a certain age. We we're just talking about that. How people fuck around and they rush to ruin their goddamn life. Yeah, I know. You just, you're like, in a rush to just fuck I, your whole life up for no reason. It's not even that. It's like everybody has their own chapter in life. Okay, so like if you're gonna do what you're gonna do, you're gonna do what you're gonna do. So it, it is what it is. I'm not the type to sit here and judge you, but 
Bro, there's some people that I know that are just trying to grow up way too fucking quick, man. I don't know what it is. I don't yeah, know what man. it is. You're I right. mean, it's good to be, you know, be mature and shit and do what yeah. you do and take care of your business as an adult, but I don't know, bro. Niggas are already trying to be 50-something in their 20s, and it's like, bro, like... It's like, bro, like, you haven't even been out the United States. Facts. To be real, bro. Like, Facts. you haven't even experienced... You haven't really experienced much of anything, bro, besides... Work. <laughs> like, just work. But, I mean, like, you really got to find yourself, bro. Like, what, what really makes you happy and yeah, shit Yeah, like what that. your passion is. What drives you, bro. Yeah. You know, some people would say it's money, bro, but that can't be it. Because once you get that, then that means your life is over. You know what I'm saying? You just got to keep chasing it. Yeah, like, that's something that's... It's a number that will never stop growing. So, if that's what you're chasing, numbers, then you'll never be happy because they never stop growing. It never stops going. So... Yeah, man, you got to find out what you're passionate for. You know what I mean? Like, ultimately, bro, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I want to help other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to I wanna help other people in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Like, eventually, I want to, you know, do something to give back to the community and, and people that actually fucking need it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, here. Like, because, I don't know, bro, everybody wants to be quick to fucking help everybody else out. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we got to help each other first before we could go out helping other people. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, especially, that's, yeah, that's what, I mean, as a country, bro. Yeah, that's, like, I, yeah. I'm talking about that, bringing it up, that touching on the, you know, I'm not really into politics. I'm not a politics guy, but, you know, people are freaking out about Biden, you know, he's he's just opening up, you know, he's going to change policies. certain policies yeah. and stuff. It's going to, uh, there's going to be like a caravan of, of, illegal immigrants that might be coming through or something like that, something like that. But it's like, I understand it. You know, it's a good sentiment, but there's homeless people here. There's people that haven't had food in days here Yeah. in the United States. There's veterans that need help here. And we're going to ignore all of that to, you know, help other people. Like I get it, but bro, you got to take care of your home first. You got to take care of your home before you go out and venture out and start helping the neighborhood. Yeah, exactly. If your kids and your household isn't straight and they don't have food and they're fucked up, like, what gives you the right to take that food and take those resources and go to the next door neighbor's house and give it to them? You know, like, yeah, they're hurting too, but, bro, your family's hurting. Like, Yeah, it's like, that I don't make sense. Like, when you go to, when you go out of the fucking country... And you go out, you know, you go to Norway, you go to Sweden, and you go to the UK, you barely don't fucking see anybody home. You don't see homeless people like that, bro. I promise you, you don't. I believe it. Like, it, it's so crazy to me. And it's like, why? Like, when I came back from, you know, from those countries and I came back to the States, I was like, man, like, things are so different. Why, why, why isn't the States like that? You know, I was so confused, you know? It's like, why, why, why are we so different? When we shouldn't be. It's the mentality, man. It's the mentality. Is it you know? because we're Americans? Is it because... I don't know, is, bro. Are we really lazy when it comes to I being... really feel like, yeah. I feel like like it might get certain people upset, but honestly, bro, y'all... The people I know us know we don't really give a fuck like that. Um, Bro, people are lazy and people want handouts. This is like... This is one of the only countries with like, you know, welfare and shit like that. And like just people being taken care of by the government. Like, that shit don't really happen like that in other places, bro. Like, you either go get it or you fucking don't get it. Facts. You know, like, and I feel like we've we've become soft. As a country, you've become soft over time and expecting handouts and expecting free shit and expecting certain things. It's like, bro, ain't nobody entitled. Like, you're not entitled to anything. Don't nobody owe you shit. You got to get up and go get it, period. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like we've gotten too fucking used to getting that handout, bro, as a country. Period. Yeah. Uh, psh, shit. You want to talk about handouts, bro? We we take a lot of shit for granted down here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go to fucking McDonald's, you get refills, right? For yeah, free. Yeah, facts. Right? You get as many refills as you want. Yeah, bro. It's and, like... and then when you go to the, when you go to Norway, I mean, that last time I went, it was like maybe five, six years ago, maybe seven. Right. Right. So I don't know if the laws changed or shit or whatever. But when I was there, fucking. It was un. It wasn't unlimited, like like the states. Yeah, you know like I mean? you gotta pay to get another cup. Yeah, like you gotta pay, and I was like, "Where's the refill?" And they're like, "Nah, you gotta pay for that." And it's like, "Oh shit!" Facts. Like it, it wasn't a lot, but you still had to pay for it. And right. it's like, 
that's that mentality where it's like it's not handed to you. You know what I mean? It's right. Kinda, it's not unlimited. It's not just gonna like you can't just go up and get as much of it as you want. Yeah. Because there are limited resources. Yep. And that's something that yeah, bro. A lot of people don't understand that people leave their water running at their house. Like, bro, there's people that fucking walk miles, miles to get a little fucking handful of some dirty ass water to drink, and you're just leaving your fucking yeah. your, your tub running just cause. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's certain shit. There's a lot of shit we take for granted, and a lot of shit that we do as Americans, bro. That. Yeah. It's just, it's fucked. There's like, all, we're fucked. There's some things that I be doing, though. I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, you know that when I... <laughs> I be, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. When I say I ain't going to lie, that mean I'm lying. No, I'm just kidding. Lying no, I'm nigga. just kidding, bro. Nah, I'm being not. truthful right now, nah. actually. Let's hear Fucking, it. Yo, you, all right. So when you buy water, bro, I don't know about you. I don't know about you guys, but I buy by the case, right? Facts. So when I big have... Big cases. Yeah, big cases. You know what I mean? So when I'm drinking the water, I'm like, fuck. And I always put it down somewhere, and it's always a quarter. There's always like a quarter of water left. Yeah, I do that shit, too. It, There's like fucking 20 unfinished it, 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 bottles of water in my car, like, bro. Like, why? Why do I do that? I don't, I don't understand know. why I and do that. And then, like, my psychology says, oh, that uh, little bit of water is fucking nasty. It's nasty. Dirty. Yeah. I don't want no backwash. So you don't fucking finish it. Exactly. I think that's the main reason why it's like I don't finish it. I'm a piece of shit. It's, and, yeah. Yeah. So and I'm, then on top of that, we're fucking the environment with all this goddamn plastic. Exactly. And there's no more recycling here. In this <laughs> <fucking city. laughs> on top of it, bro. On top of it, we don't have recycling in our fucking our city. Our fucking city is yo, trash. Yo, this whole, and they stopped the recycling. And yo, then when people bitched about it, their response was, well, there hasn't been recycling for months. And then we were like, well, then why the fuck were you guys having to separate the recyclables? And fucking put it in a separate We did basket. that shit for like six years. So what are you guys talking about? So you guys just took our shit and they, dumped they it in the same pile? They were just fucking throwing it in the trash anyway. They were throwing it in the same pile, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's it's fucking like, bro, ridiculous, like, come bro. Come on, man. Like, tighten up, man. Tighten up. Like, y- y'all got to tighten up, Deltona. That shit ain't cool, bro. That shit ain't fucking cool. Like, there's people in this city that care about their environment. We don't want to fuck that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. for real. Like. Or we, at least we don't want to add to to the pollution. Like yeah, facts. Like I just don't get that shit, man. I, hey, it I is try what my it best. is, man. But you know what? I really don't fucking yo, Remy. You okay back there? Yeah. You, you know what? I really don't fucking get, bro. Um, I know this happened a, a week or two ago already. It's old news, but that shit I couldn't get over it. This fucking bitch, Azalea Banks, bro. Who is that? Bro, I heard of that name she, before. She's a she's pretty she's pretty well known. She's done a, a few things. She yeah. makes music and shit, but yeah. she fucking dug up a dead cat, her dead cat, and boiled the shit and like put it on her Instagram story. Like like that was the move. Like it was a normal day. I might throw up. Throw up. Nigga, if you seen that video of that boil that bop that pop boiling nigga, that yo, shit was that bop a pop. I couldn't boil. even fucking talk. He, <laughs> he said bop, I bop the bop, I bop it, he bop. Yo, he bop that pop. I bop bop it, yo. <laughs> he's buzzing and cousin, bro. That's all I gotta say. Nah, man. He's bitch, my cousin nah, and he if, buzzing. Hey, bro, if you saw that fucking video I'm talking about, bro, you'd do exactly what I just did, bro. You wouldn't know what to fucking say. Nah, for real. A bitch boiling her fucking cat in her kitchen, like normal, like. Bitch, uh, listen, nah, that's the listen, type of girl, bro. Did you eat it? Did she fucking eat it? I don't know it? what she did with it. Listen, don't invite, I'm so, I'm so don't invite me to eat at your house in your whole fucking life. Okay, first of all. Like, if I ever saw a, a, a girl that yeah. I know doing that on her Instagram story, don't ever in your life, ever in your life, hop in my DM talking about, hey, bro, you want to come over for dinner or something? No. No, I don't. I'm not hungry. Anytime I'll see your face, I won't ever be hungry. No, nah, there won't be food involved around you. At all. Food, drink, nothing I, that I, goes I, in my body. Nah, bro. It's going to be <laughs> I don't around care. you, I don't bitch. give a fuck if I'm dying, bitch. <laughs> Get the fuck away. Hey, bro. Nah, for real, bro. It's like, listen, yeah. like, I'll have snacks on deck. I'll nah. have snacks on deck. Anytime I'm around jazz. It's either A, you're into demonic bullshit, or two, nah, nah, you're doing yeah. it for the fucking clout. Yeah, nah, well, and, look, and, man, some people will sit here and argue and say that, you know, there's certain religions and certain cultures that do certain things like that for spiritual reasons. Okay, cool. I don't understand it, but I'll respect it if that's what you do 
for your own, you know, religious reasons. But, bruh, to fucking post that? Bruh, like, 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 like come I on. said, like, like come there, on, there's got to be some type of demonic thing that you're trying to do here. Like, yeah, it, like what, a, a message, you're tra- a subliminal message you're trying to send or, or some yeah. voodoo you're trying to do on somebody. I believe in that shit. 100%. I believe in that shit too, but it's like, that's not for somebody, that's not for people to see. If that, nah. even if that, if that really is what you're doing, some voodoo shit, that's really not for other people to see. Facts. Like, come on, bro. Regardless, that's vulgar, man. Don't nobody want to see you fucking boiling a dead cat, bro. You know, I mean, you know what I used to do to cats back in the day. I don't know. This I don't know if I fucking told shit, you. This guy's a piece of shit, bro. I should whoop his ass right now. Listen, I had. <laughs> Listen, I'm not <laughs> fucked up. This nah, is, he's this a piece is, of this shit. This is the farm life. We were talking about farm life. <laughs> farm life. You know bitch. what I mean? And the farm life is different than the regular civilian Niggas life, Niggas lived bro. in Daltona most of his life, bro. Nah, okay, go ahead. No, nah, but listen, farm whenever life. I went over to my uncle's, they got a farm. And I would go, and so I felt like a farmer <laughs> when I went. You know what I mean? So by, when I came back, bro, I was already fucking speaking another language halfway. Mr. Bar, bar. I was dressing like fucking, uh, what's this guy from office? <laughs> fucking Dwight. Dwight. I was, oh. I was dressing oh, like no, Dwight. No. I swear to God. I was fucking growing fucking... God damn fucking what is that what does he grow to? Oh beets. Beets. <laughs> I was growing beets up in that nah, but anyways, nah, man. But we had a lot of cats. Like a beat. We had a lot of cats, bro. And it was uncontrolled. Like they couldn't they, it was getting un, like they couldn't control it, bro. It was too wild. Yeah, it was getting out of hand. Cats breed quick. Yeah, it was like rabbits, you know, bomb bomb bomb. They were banging, banging bongo all day. All day. Bingo bongo. And I was like, fuck. But Nah, man, these motherfuckers killed him. That's what they did. Yeah, I mean, yeah, bro. They threw him in the river. <laughs> they let him float. Hey, P- and they fucking... <laughs> hey, Peter. They threw it away. This happened overseas years ago past the statute of limitations, okay? We do not condone the harming of animals on this show. Nah. Just for fucking, you know... Nah, 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 but it's... To make it, it clear. It's but nah, bro, They listen, threw that pussy down the water. So. That's why certain people hunt the... <laughs> <laughs> that's all I gotta say. This fucking guy. That's how the that was corny as fuck, by the way, but... Fuck it. <laughs> I had to do something there, bro. I had to throw that in there. That's how the cookie Nah, comes. that's just fucking ass... Damn. Nah, bro, there's... Damn, bitch, I told you he was fucking freaking out. <laughs> Yo, my <laughs> fucking, dog is getting yo, look squished look at, look by at this, Look at this, guy. He's getting fucking squished. He ain't getting shit. He's getting comfortable. Nah, for real. But nah, bro. It's fucking crazy to think about how somebody, you know, could wake up one day and just completely decide to ruin their whole life. <laughs> I don't understand that shit, bro. Like, I was watching... Unless uh, they have nothing. Yeah, if you have nothing, but even then, bro, you have life. Life is life, nigga. Yeah, That's something. It is. But it's like, that is fine. Nah, this nigga YFN Lucci got picked up on fucking murder charges. So allegedly, we don't know what happened. We don't know if it's for sure. Um, he did get arrested already. He turned himself in, but allegedly he was charged with uh, murder. And um, conspiracy or like, you know, accessory to murder, something like that. Fucked up his whole life, man. Like something happened. You know what I'm saying? I guess what happened was. Um, why Fan Lucci was riding around with his boys. This is all alleged, guys. He was riding around with two of his boys. Um, they seen some niggas they had problems with. They started shooting. They started shooting. The people they shot at returned fire, hit YFN Lucci's boy in the head, and then hit his other boy. And they while driving, st- while they were driving, while they like they had pulled up. I don't know if they were still moving, but while they had pulled up, and then uh, when they pulled off, they threw his. They threw their own boy out of the fucking car. The nigga that got hit in the head, they threw him out of the fucking car. And left him. And left him. So this is a lesson for all you guys that want to be fucking gang gang. And want to be so fucking down. And you want to be riding for the fucking hood. And riding for the set. And riding for the flag. Or whatever the fuck it is that you're riding for. You think you're representing. Bro. This man went out with his boys. That's fucking nuts. To shoot at another another group of niggas. 
got hit in the in the fire that was returned and instead of fucking being saved by his boys like getting taken to a hospital they threw him out of a fucking moving car and left him to fucking die bro this is all a legend so we don't know this story could you know it, it might be completely different but that's supposedly what had happened that's, now, that's wild. regardless if that's what happened or not, bro, how the fuck can somebody decide to fuck up your whole life like that, bro? Like, bro, you're already you're 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 a star. Why well, Finn Lucci's a star? Yeah, no, no, he's a star. He definitely made it. He has a lot of like hits. you got you you're bro. You're, it can't be for money. Nah. And if it's not for money, then what's it about? Something, something personal. Maybe. Hey, man. But it, he, he, to throw away your whole life, bro. It ain't it, worth it. it. It better have been something that you could sleep well at night knowing, like, yo, I'll do this time knowing it was worth it. Because if not, bro, that shit makes no fucking sense. I know, no sense. I, Why would you even uh, put yourself in a predicament like that, being in that situation, <clears throat> being in that position? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's I sad, man, but yeah. hey, yeah. Take, take that to the head for those of y'all that are out there talking about gang gang and all oh, my boys going to ride for me and nah. shit. As soon as shit hits the fan and it gets real, bro, ain't nobody there, bro, but your family and, and, <coughs> and you know, your day, your real day ones. The pe- the people, the, the nigga that told you not to go out there with the motherfuckers. The guy, that, the guy that, that people call a square. The guy that's <coughs> at the house trying to build a computer or some shit. That's your real boy. The one that Facts. told you not to fucking do this exactly. shit. Exactly. And you're like, nah, you, you know what I'm nah, saying? Like, you, I, I just... It, it's he, crazy, bro. Yeah, he, he, he's a fucking actor, man. And, and I knew he was a fucking actor. He may have been about it in the streets maybe before. I don't know. But from what I've seen, it don't really look like it, bro. I've seen videos of him at video shoes shooting fucking rifles on accident and almost shooting somebody because he don't know how to shoot a fire. Iron, bro. They don't. Have, it, there's like, no respect. There's no respect for. Uh, there's no respect for the gun, bro. Like I remember when men had respect for a weapon. They had respect for the gun. They understood that it was a tool and it was only used for self defense. Or you know, in the mob in the mob days they used it for other shit. But for the most part, there's there was a respect for guns, bro. There's no respect to that shit now, bro. Yeah. Every other little motherfucker has a gun. They want to show it. They want to bust it. They want to prove that they that they're they're not scared to let it go, and, and they're missing the whole point that it's not. The guns aren't for the community. The guns aren't to use on the community. The guns are for the revolution, bro. Therefore, if something happens, you you fucking protect the community. Yep. You don't use it on the community. You protect the community with the guns, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, nah, they they got that shit confused. It is what it is, man. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Like, we're supposed to be protecting each other, bro. Like, for real. Like, come on, bro. Like, we're looking out for each other. All this ammo's going missing. You got all this shit. You, you, bro, you can't even get pellet guns, bro. (laughs) You can't even get fucking pellet fucking guns and pellet fucking ammo. My buddy just went to the gun store and he has a pellet gun. Uh, oh, the the metal Yeah, the little and, and BB gun Yeah, shit. and it's automatic and shit And I was, it was fun Just for fun Just to shoot And like, I mean That shit would hurt I don't know Nah, if that should have fucked you up I don't know if it'll kill somebody It but could It could I think so, yeah It could if it, it, Yeah, like There's certain BB guns that They can kill you Yeah, so you can't even find that And I'm like, damn, bro Shit getting out of hand, bro So I don't know, man. We're supposed to protect each other. You guys seen the movie. You guys seen the movie Iron Legend. This shit happened in 2021. That's what they said in the movie. It happened mm-hmm. in 2021, and it was because of a failed fucking vaccine. So you guys are telling me that's, that's not... That's really what the story in tw- uh, yes. I Am Legend is yes. about? it's about the vaccine. In 2021, 2020. because of a failed vaccine. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, boys. <laughs> you better fucking buckle up. Cause we about to, it's going to be me and Aubrey out here fucking stomping niggas <laughs> down, shooting motherfuckers in their head. Do you remember the scene where they were trying to fucking get them across the bridge if you were clean or not? They checked your temperature? Nah. They were like, nah, shut the fuck And then it turns red. Up. If you're not, then you can't. <coughs> fuck I'll look you. it up. I need to watch that movie again because I don't remember none of that shit. Running out of time, though. We're, we're, yeah, bro. I need to watch that shit because I don't remember any of that shit. But um, yeah, it's a good movie. If you guys haven't yeah, seen man. it, Will Smith. <clears throat> yeah, Will Smith. I am legend. He had to fucking kill his dog. It was the saddest part of the whole fucking movie, bro. That shit made me cry. Yeah, it did. Me too. It'll make me cry today if I watch if it I right s- now. Facts. Me too. I'll like, cry. Real shit. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. But yeah, guys. Um, 
We appreciate everybody that's coming back, liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? It's been yours truly, thumbs low up. key. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, go down in the fucking description, get yourself a little bit of merch if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned for the next one, guys. Peace and love. Love.